Ten years after a Georgetown man was convicted of murder, his family say questions surround everything included in the case from the original arrest warrant to testimony from witnesses. Again, thank you for joining us tonight at 745 year old Teron Disley now seeking answers following two trials with complicated results 16 years after his original arrest. He's now suing the Georgetown County Sheriff's Office and Georgetown County Solicitor's Office for false imprisonment and malicious prosecution. Our Emily Johnson spoke to the family today. Due process has failed him. I miss my child. Um, he is, he was like 35 years old pretty much when this happened. Court transcriptions, testimony from witnesses, lawsuits, and the original investigation report all paint a very in-depth picture of this case. But it all started back in 2008 when Andre Evans Jr. was shot at Paradise Club in Georgetown. The original incident report states an officer spoke with Evans's father and fiance, who eventually both stated that an individual nicknamed Little D had shot Evans. An arrest warrant was issued for Disley on December 12, 2008, but the lawsuit states that there was not enough information provided to determine probable cause in the warrant. Then he should not have been issued a warrant because it was a John Doe warrant. It said little, no, nobody knows who Little D was. There are hundreds of Little D in the world. While maintaining his innocence, Disley was tried for the murder of Evans four years later in 2012. Judge Michael Baxley stopped the jury from deliberating after three to four hours. His decision to stop deliberations and discharge the jury was, quote, a strong message to the prosecution that they were unable to meet the burden of proof to the extent that they can bring back a unanimous verdict according to court documents. Judge Baxley then declared a mistrial or hung jury. In this case, you do not see another charge. Only thing you see is murder, and that's it. That's a strong statement of that. Disley was tried again for murder in 2014, despite the 2012 ruling by Judge Baxley. The lawsuit states he was unlawfully convicted, which violated his Fifth Amendment rights under the Double Jeopardy Clause. The Double Jeopardy Clause prevents an accused person from being tried again for the same charges. Though the clause does not apply to a mistrial, part of what's at stake is whether Judge Baxley should have declared one in the first place. Now, over the last 10 years, Disley, his family and friends have continued to fight for a fair trial and for the truth to come out. He's always been a good person and to have something pinned on you and you can't even depend on the judicial system. Where do you go from here? Mm. Disley will be in Georgetown County Court on Thursday at 930 AM for an injunction hearing in the lawsuit. Reporting in Georgetown, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News. In a response to our request for comment, the Georgetown County Sheriff's Office and South Carolina Department of Corrections said they do not discuss pending litigation. Georgetown County Solicitor Jimmy Richardson said, quote, it's our policy not to comment on pending lawsuits except to say that we are aware of it and will be prepared to answer in court.